Hi, it's Darnell with Wave of Recipes, and today I'm going to be cooking up some banana almond flour squares using the Ninja Speedy Rapid Cooker and Air Fryer. So let's get cooking right now. So let's go over the ingredients for this cook. I've got two cups of blanched almond flour. I've got two teaspoons of guar gum that helps to bind things together. Got two teaspoons of baking powder. I've got two large bananas here. I've got a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I've got two large chicken eggs. I'm going to be using a quarter cup of raw honey. And I've got one other ingredient I'll be using, which is one and a half sticks of melted butter. So, got those here. One and a half sticks makes for three quarters of a cup of melted butter. So I'm going to basically get the wet ingredients in one bowl and the dry ingredients in another bowl. Now I've got the dry ingredients in the dry bowl. In the wet ingredients bowl, in order to get the bananas chopped up well, I'm using a blender. So I'm just going to blend them up some. Or I guess I should say a power mixer, not a blender. But you know what I mean. I'm going to basically get things mixed up. <laughs> Now that things are well mixed, going to take the wet stuff and put it over into the dry bowl and get it all mixed up. And for this part, I just hand mix things until I get it all together pretty good. There will be some, I guess, some clumps from the banana pieces that aren't, you know, all super tiny. Some of the banana pieces are still, they're like small, small little pieces, but still they'll make some clumps in the batter. Alright, now that I think I've got the batter well mixed, I've got a 9 inch ramekin here sprayed with extra light olive oil and that's not to be confused with other types of olive oil. Extra light is different. I'm going to go ahead and put my batter into the ramekin. Just smoothing things down a little bit now to make it nice smoothed out batter. Alright, that's uh, that's about good enough there. So we'll leave it like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I've already taken the crisper tray out. So I'm going to move the camera so you can see the cooker. Alright, now that you can see I'm opening up and with the crisper basket not in there so that I can put the ramekin on the very, very bottom like so. Let's see if I can get it in my mouth fix. If you haven't seen the initial review, be sure to check that out where I do a bunch of cooks and sizing and things of that nature. Alright, there it is. Just had to move it around to get it in there. Had to coordinate that to get it in there. Now I put the crisper rack on top that helps to prevent the top from being way overcooked and now I'm going to turn it on and I'm going down to the bake function taking the temp up to 350 taking the time up to 25 minutes I'm just going to hit start it goes right into cooking and I'll bring you back in 25 minutes Things are done for a full 25 minutes and now I'm going to go ahead and open up and get that air fryer rack out of there. And then I'll get the ramekin out. So, okay. Let me just touch the top and get a feel. See if things feel like they're done. It feels a little moist in there, but uh, it feels a little moist. I think it might need might need a full 30 minutes. I'm going to give it five more. So, sorry, I hit the camera there. I think it's going to need five more minutes, so put the rack back on top. We'll give it 30 minutes total. So let's see. We want 350. We want five minutes. So we'll give it a full 30. I think those bananas make things a little more moist. Needs a little more time to fully cook. I can tell from just feeling the top if things are done or not. But I'll bring you back. 
All right, so a full 30 minutes have passed in cooking time now. We'll go ahead and get that crispy rack off of there. Now I'm going to carefully try and get the ramekin out. Looks like the top didn't get very much more browner than it already was. Maybe just a little. Let's see if I can get in here. Let's see. It's kind of tough getting this ramekin out because of its size. I think I'm just going to take the whole pot out and I'll get it out over here on the side. Alright, so I got it out. Basically, the camera kind of being in the way makes it tougher for me to get things out of there. But you can see it now. It's kind of hot. So I got to set it down, let it cool. Kind of tapped into it with my thumbs a little bit, so it's got a few little thumbprints, but. We'll let it cool down for a while and I'll bring you on back. Alright, so I've given things time to cool down. Got the light on so you can see well, but there's the top of it. I can guarantee you if I had not put the crisper rack or air fryer rack or whatever you want to call it on top, it would probably be totally black. Very totally burnt over black. So, I'm going to just go ahead and use this spatula here to just try and get myself a piece out. See if I can get in here without making too much of a mess. Alright, there we have the finished product. It looks like it's kind of a moist banana. I mean it's done, like I mean the whole piece came out and it feels done, but it's, it feels moist like kind of banana moist still. But let's go ahead and do a taste test. Alright, so thank God for this food. Let's go ahead and taste. So, you can see the bottom of it there. Let me show you the bottom. The bottom didn't get any real browning. Can you see that? So, let's go ahead and taste. Okay, I'm going to definitely eat some more after I turn the camera off but it tastes good it's really moist because of the bananas but the bananas didn't get like really brown during the cook because they were mixed with like the butter and the egg and all of that stuff so it's done but it's really moist if you saw the initial review you saw I used similar ingredients to make brownies almond flour brownies but without the bananas and I guess I used a grain laden sweetener in that one too I didn't use a grain laden sweetener for this because Bananas have a lot of sugar in them already, but I did use the honey. But anyway, it turned out good. It tastes good. Like I said, it's kind of moist. I think, you know, you probably don't want to overcook it, you know, trying to cook it too much. I think just the bananas are going to have it, because it was two bananas in there, it's just going to be moist. And I'm going to refrigerate it anyway, so it'll be all good. But it turned out good and it tastes great. So it's definitely a, re a recipe I recommend giving a shot. You know, cook it for 30 minutes at 350 and see, you know, how it works out for you. I like it. I'm going to have some more in a moment. <laughs> but, nothing in this video is sponsored. And in the video description, there are lots of ways to help the channel, such as my cookbook, merch, membership, donations. Link to the Amazon shop, where whatever you buy through that, you pay the same price you normally would at that site. But it helps the channel. Also, you can always check out my blog, SuperWaveOvenRecipes.com. That's SuperWaveOvenRecipes.com. Lots of recipes and good stuff there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Leave your comments. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification icon and good eating.